Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I... I Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh... Not... Exactly. But, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's... It's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. Don't worry? D yeah, d you know. Be happy. Might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? Ooh, 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 what, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking! Ah, uh, think somewhere else! Stop singing! For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cam is. Done. Go ahead and grab it.
Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> Because <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good. She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit. The emergency door controls. Yes! Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Working? I got trouble. You lock me in a room, I'm gonna make a double! You hear me? Don't worry, be happy. Here's a little song I wrote. Uh, something, something, note for note. Peter, do I really have to do this? I mean, Cammy's a space llama. One who apparently doesn't even like my voice. Ugh! <laughs> Working. You said yourself she hates my voice. You got it. Hey. Mm -hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Don't worry. Okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. I'll do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! <laughs> I can't believe it worked! We're not on the sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. 
Good. Then let's go find our friend. So, where are we, anyway? Definitely not sacrosanct. Good. Care to be a little more descriptive? We'll know more once we get outside, assuming Peter gets his butt into gear. At least we all managed to get some rest. Speak for yourself. I barely had time to fix the engines before Drax locked me in. Didn't even get a power nap. I am Groot. He had to let me finish. How else was he gonna fly out here? Just wanna make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. I know you're ready. Oh, and how do you suppose we convinced? Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flocking lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, oh, the stuff is gross! Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, wet fur is the worst! Fuck <laughs> it! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet, and I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nut jobs. Great! They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. <laughs> Saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. Exiles from where? Hala. They escaped Kree persecution revolutions ago. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. And you were here before? I spent some time here to heal after... Never mind. It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. It's so... Vast and beautiful. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh, Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Unlike some people. <laughs> yep, swimming ain't the problem. Getting wet is the problem. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Found Drax! Lying scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just go! 
calm down! No! She called me here! To mend what I lost! Brock a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Hi, guys! Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysau once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him, here. And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> and we're in! What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control. Double floor. <gasps> Allison sets that one in time. Everyone, just remember we're here for Drax. Though it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Ozzy Cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More 
water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate pictures. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. It'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Frog. Hi ya! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. We could try using that huge crystal somehow. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. I spotted a little mousy hole here. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket! You feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Geniuses! Stay on and don't look this sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scott, save your butt. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Admit it. Drax means a little more to you than that. Fine. Maybe a little more. But not a lot more. Not die in a cave level more. <laughs> What do you mean it's not a good look? I'm being honest. I am good. I do not secretly love Drax. Ew, gross. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf, first time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog?
cities on two planets! Think of it as population control! Admit it, you missed tracks! What? We got this! Sorta! Of. Let's roll this thing over! Cause some real damage! Okay, I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. Negative. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the Florkin deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Oh, oh no, Sir Groot. There's no such thing as the Kotani route. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh! I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. What's the deal with all the stone faces down here? They're spooky, right? The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Groot says we should check things out over here. What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. Or something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. Spooky. We ain't being watched. No one in the right mind would be in this but flacking cave of flarkin' wonders. What's going on? Sir Groot feels the intrusive eyes watching us. Don't worry, my flora, I feel them too. What the flark? There's two of them! Who what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive? But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends?
happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cake. I am Groot. Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. Greenie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We each need to face our fears. Some fear, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. You uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come? And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see... Friends, willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Wander, it's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Yeah. There's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. Katati tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh yes, it's very dangerous. Ancient even. An ancient danger. Or what? Still is. Something.
Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. Found another way. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think you can do one right us. Hey, Groot, buddy, think you could lift this? I'm Groot. I'm Groot. Yeah, Quill. You can Hurry stop up. there. Thanks. No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole on.
something in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? Whoop!
need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. We're recovering what other versions of us have already found. Isn't it exciting? If you want to stop Rooker... Raker. Right, Router. This is the only way. Drax really did seem to care about the Nova Kid, didn't he? Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. Can I help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. I agree. Of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what! Rocket, you deal with it. Got the wrong guy. Do your magic, group. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. one you can say that again oh I will uh mantis where's the matriarch this is the one where I fail Okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! 
I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. So am I! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How'd a gun do that? Show him! Star Guy! That's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water... Wait, hang on. Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these workers again! I hoped I never would! I think these bugs touched a nerve! 